Hey, that's just a toy. Hey man, check out my new Rubik's Cube. It's literally Legos glued to a Rubik's Cube and you can build on top of it. Isn't that so cool? Uh, not really, man. Isn't that a toy made for kids? The non-cuber that makes you feel smart. And done. Wow, man, how do you even begin solving something like that? That's insane. Your grandpa's reaction. Hey, Grandpa, check out my new Rubik's Cube. I had one of those when I was a kid. I just peeled the stickers off and put them back. Wait a minute. There's no stickers on that thing. What kind of magic is this? Algorithms are too easy. So it took me all night, but I finally learned three more algorithm cases on my cube. Hey, man, that's... Too easy. Don't you just memorize an algorithm for every type of combination on that? Wait, how many combinations are even on that? You're wasting your time, man. Yo, check out this new banana cube. It's literally a banana, but it turns like a 2x2x3. Two by two by Isn't that kind of cool? Man, why would you even waste your time with something like that? I have way more better things to do with my time. Like, uh, like, uh, I, TV. That must be hard for your brain. All right, yo, check this out. This is a 10 by 10, but you can also solve it like a two by two. Isn't that kind of cool? Isn't that like hard for your brain or something? Like, why would you want to go straight from school to doing homework that you don't even have to do? Like, why would you even practice math on that thing? You know, I could probably solve that. All right, so this new Rubik's Phantom starts out, well, pretty much black. Then the more heat you put on it with your fingers, it starts turning into its colors. Well, it almost makes it actually kind of difficult to solve. I could probably solve one of those things, just if you gave me a couple hours. It looks actually kind of easy, I'm not going to lie. Did it break in the box? Wow, what happened to all the pins? Did they just fall off when you pulled it out of the box? Idiot. You're definitely going to be an engineer. All right, so check out this gear cube. The gears literally turn while you're solving it. Isn't that kind of cool? And you could have the colors correct, but the gears aren't even correct on it. So you just kind of keep turning until you get it correct. Isn't that kind of sweet? Yeah, man, I can tell you're definitely going to be an engineer, architect, or mathematician when you grow up. Can you teach me? So I just bought this really hard Rubik's Cube. Can you teach me some math so I can solve this thing? Are you trying to show off? Wow, so you solving that is not like a, a super weird way for nerds to show off how smart they are. Like... I think most people can do that if you gave them enough time. You're avoiding your work. So you're literally avoiding work by trying to solve a Rubik's Cube or practice or whatever you said. Also, doesn't it kind of hurt the cube if you turn it that fast? Like, are you afraid it's going to blow up? Uh, not really. That's why they're called speed cubes, man. The non-cuber that knows more than you. So check this out. It's literally like a normal Rubik's Cube, but it's all angly. It's called the... It's called the Angle Cube, isn't it? Uh... No. It's not called that. But but people will think bad of you. So this is the new Wave Rider V1. Do you want to try it out? Uh, nah, man. I'm good. Are you afraid of what people will think if you solve that thing in public? Uh, I'm not too worried about what people think about me. You'll become obsessed. So check this out. This Rubik's Cube literally has purple insides. Isn't that kind of cool? Uh, not really, but are you afraid that you'll just become obsessed with buying more and more of those just because they're slightly different from one another? Uh, yeah, actually, that's that's kind of where I'm at now. I am obsessed with buying more of these, and it's not healthy for my wallet. But check out how cool this purple is. 
You're just avoiding socializing. So I'm working on this pin four by four. I've just got a couple more pins here and then three sides left and then I'm totally complete with this thing. Uh, isn't you making these kind of cubes and cubing just a way for you to avoid socializing? Yeah. Yes, it is. You're wasting your potential. That's cool and all, but aren't you afraid of wasting your potential on some stupid toy? Like, what do you do with all that time anyway? Uh, talk about wasting potential. You literally watch Netflix all night, every night. <laughs> Makes you feel like a loner. Dude, I saw you solving that Rubik's Cube across the classroom earlier. Isn't you cubing just a way to make you feel like you're actually part of a club? Yeah, actually, it's kind of fun. You should try it out sometime. Foo. Makes you feel like a loser. Dude, you're such a loser for solving Rubik's Cubes. Like, what the hell, man? Well... I'll give you three seconds to start running before I throw this at you. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all for watching the video. If you made it this far, comment boat. So I know you made it all the way towards the end. Also, I'm kind of running out of ideas with this series. As you've seen, I've posted similar videos, different but similar, maybe 30 times on this channel, little skits. So if you guys have any like other options of like skits I can do, or any other type of cubing videos you wanna see, like unboxings or new cubes, anything like that, go ahead, leave it in the comments because I'm curious and I kinda wanna start a new series. But if you guys like this, I can definitely keep going with it. Also, check out the description because I'm giving away a 21 by 21 on this channel, which is the first time ever in cubing history anyone has ever given away a cube of that magnitude. So go ahead, check it out. Free to enter, free to join and free to win. But that being said, I appreciate y'all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we're good.